is a quick example of how to find the mean and the standard deviation when you are manipulating or combining random variables. So here what I have is a table that gives me the mean and the standard deviation for two separate variables. Random variable X has a mean of 80 and a standard deviation of 12, and my random variable Y has a mean of 12 and a standard deviation of 3. So if I wanted to triple the values of my random variable X, what's going to happen and how can I find my new mean and my new standard deviation? Well, this is pretty straightforward. What you want to do, mean is affected by the multiplication of a constant. So the mean of this 3 times the random variable x is just 3 times the mean, or 3 times 80, which is 240. So that's my new mean. The new standard deviation, the standard deviation when you multiply by a constant for your random variable, again, is just that constant times the original standard deviation, which is 12, and that gives a, gives a new standard deviation of 36. Now, what happens if, instead of multiplying by a constant, what if we add the two random variables together? So in this case, I want to find the mean of the sum of my random variables x and y. Well, the mean of the sum of the two random variables is equal to the sum of the means. So in this case, it would be 80 plus 12, which is 92. Now, the standard deviation is different. You cannot just take the standard deviation for, a random, for your random variable x and for y and add the two together. What you have to do is find the variance of both of these, add the variances together, and then take the square root to get back to the standard deviation. So to find the standard deviation of the sum of x and y, you would take the square root of the variances. So this would be the square root of 12 squared plus 3 squared. 12 squared is the variance for this standard deviation, and 3 squared is the variance for this standard deviation. And when you do the math, you end up getting 12.37. So let's continue and look at the difference between the random variables of x and y. So here we go. The mean for the difference between x and y. Well, the difference between the ran the mean for the difference between the random variables is equal to the difference of the means. So in this case it would be 80 minus 12, which equals 68. But again, we have to work a little bit differently when we're talking about the standard deviation. When you are finding the difference between, between two random variables, to find the standard deviation of the differences, you take the square root, just like we did up here, of the sum of the variances. So again, we're going to take 12 squared to find the variance, and 3 squared to find the variance for my random variable y, add those two together, and then take the square root, which again gives us 12.37. Now you may say to yourself, well, why am I adding the variances together when I am subtracting the random variables? Well, when you are combining two random variables in any way, whether it's through addition or subtraction, you are creating more variation. It does not matter if you are adding or subtracting the values of the random variables. It's pretty obvious when you add the random variables together that you are adding variation. But it's the same way when you subtract two random variables. There's more variation within the distribution, and therefore when you find the standard deviation of the difference of two random variables, you still must add the two variances together. Well, finally, let's look at one that combines those two concepts and with 4x minus y. So in this case, to find the mean of 4x minus y, you would take 4 times the mean of x, which is 4 times 80, minus the mean of y, which is 12. And when you do the math, you end up with 308. So the mean of 4x minus y is 308. Now to find the standard deviation, you have to take the square root 
And in this case, you have to you have to take four times the standard deviation of your random variable x, which would be four times 12, and square all of that to find the variance here. Again, regardless of whether you are adding or subtracting, in this, in this case I'm subtracting, you add the variances together. So this would be three squared. So the standard deviation of four x minus y, or yes, minus y is going to end up being 48.09. Hopefully this is helpful to you and have fun in your math class.